I'm going to show you how you can uh, flip your designs uh, to make these so that they're ready so you can prepare your file so that it's ready for you to cut out uh, using the laser engraver here. Uh, so you want to remember that the white part of your design is going to be the color, the part that flips your color, it's going to be print your color, and then the black part is going to be the part that uh, is cut out on your design here. Okay. Um, so it all kind of depends on how you made your design here. Um, one thing that you can do is if it's like mine here and you need just to flip your color, um, you can just change your fill and change your stroke. Uh, for that, there's one thing that you can do. Um, this, if this is all separate pieces, you can do a couple different things. You can go up to Object and go to Compound Path and Make, and that'll change uh, all your line work to a uh, to a shape to a vector shape. The other way that you can also do this is you can go to Object and go to Flatten Transparency, and that'll do the same thing. Okay, so what you're looking for is that your fill is all one single color, uh, and then you'll notice that I don't have a stroke on this. So I can flip this to white. I'll press OK, and then I'm going to make a black square. I'm going to put this black square um, behind my design here. send it back like that <clears throat> so that's one way you can do this um, an another way that you can do this so for example like with this one here um, another way that you can do it if, if that's not working for you is so let me kind of show you uh, what you can do is you can go to object and you can go to rasterize and what that's going to do is that's going to change this from a vector file I'm going to change this into a AI file here um, so I'm going to go to object and go to rasterize here and then I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to image trace. I'm going to click on image trace here. Uh, the problem with that is when you do the image trace, you might lose uh, some parts of your image. So I might lose a few fine details on this leaf here. So I'm going to click on uh, image trace here. And do that. Uh, so remember on image trace, uh, you've got some settings that you can you can adjust here. So if I go to this image trace panel, I can work with some different presets. So if it's not working for you, I'd work with some of those different presets. Um, so maybe I wanna do, I usually like black and white, uh, I usually like high fidelity photos. If I click on that, this is already black and white, so it's not gonna add any black, any, any grayscale to this. Um, and then you can also play with this threshold here. And that's gonna be the way where you can get some of those finer details that come back here like that, okay? <coughs> So after that's done, then you can click on expand. That'll turn that into um, a fill color. And then I should be able to change this from black to white. Oh, I need to use my magic eraser here, whoops. Um, what you need to do is after you click on expand, you wanna get rid of your, your white background. So if I pull this over, you can kind of see there's a white background here. Uh, what I wanna do is grab my uh, magic wand tool. I'm going to click on that with my magic wand tool. Let me deselect this first. I'm going to click on this white with my magic wand tool. It's going to select all the white here. Um, the problem is I've also got white on this side and I also have some white on this side. So I'm going to deselect this here like that. Um, and then I can press delete and that should delete all that white. If that doesn't work, the other thing that I can do is I can also use my pathfinder and I can use uh, divide to cut this out here. Ah. So most of the time it works. It's not working. I can do this a different way. Uh, I can go in and delete that white, and then it looks like I'll have to go in and individually color, um, change the color on this. So that's what I'll do, and then I'll select these other parts and add the black. Uh, 
I'm not going to go in and do all this here, but this is kind of to show you. Um, most of the time this always works. I'm not for sure why it's not working um, for this one here. Probably because I'm making a video. Okay, these other parts then I can change to white. <clears throat> okay, and then I would just go in and select all these and change those to white there and then change these parts to black. Okay. Uh, let me show it on this one here. It should work here. So I'll press that, and then now I can switch this. This one's working a lot better here. And then I would just go in and select all these other parts. They need to change like that. Okay.